Several challenges complicate efforts to combat fake news. The rapid spread of information via social media makes it difficult to contain false stories once they've become circulating. We were given so much misinformation and politicians in some cases made it even worse. Sometimes you're getting generated by people that are not of a good purpose or what they're trying to achieve. But when politicians are doing it as well, it's a massive problem. Now let's talk about the common themes between the UK and US. Despite the differences between the US and USA media landscapes, there are several common themes in fake news in both countries. Welcome to Business Growth Talks today, the podcast where we explore the intricacies of the business world and discuss the issues that are shaping our environmental and our economic landscape. Today we are delving into a topic that's become increasingly prevalent in the UK and US media landscapes. And what is this? It is fake news. We'll examine what fake news is, how it spreads, its impact on society and business, and what measures are being taken to combat it. So let's go straight into it. Fake news refers to a false and misleading information presented as news. It is often crafted to deceive, mislead or influence public perception and behaviour. The motivations behind fake news can vary. Some aim to damage the reputation of people or entities, while others seek to make money through advertising revenue generated by clickbait, clicks and shares. Fake news can make many forms, including misinformation, disinformation, which is deliberate falsehoods, or malinformation, which is actually factually correct information used maliciously. Fake news can spread through various platforms. Social media, though, is its primary vehicle. Given its broad reach and ease with which information can be shared, News websites and traditional media outlets also play a role, sometimes inadvertently perpetuating false information. Messaging apps like WhatsApp have also become conduits for spreading fake news, especially through private or group messages that evade public scrutiny. We are now going to talk about it from a UK perspective and a US perspective. In the UK, fake news has become a significant issue, especially around major political events like Brexit. The Brexit referendum saw a huge surge in false information with both sides of the debate accusing them each of spreading misleading claims. This has contributed to an atmosphere of distrust and division amongst the public. Political things are so prevalent. It is such a major issue that we we were given so much misinformation and politicians in some cases made it even worse. Sometimes you're getting generated by people that are not of, of a good purpose or what they're trying to achieve. But when politicians are doing it as well, it's a massive problem. Social media platforms such as Facebook and Twitter are common sources of fake news in the UK. Messaging apps like WhatsApp also play a role with users forwarding misleading information within their networks. These platforms make it easier for false information to spread. To counter the spread of fake news, the UK government has implemented several measures. One notable effort is to establish the establishment of a dedicated unit within the government to tackle misinformation. This unit works to identify and address fake news and misinformation, particularly in the context of elections and public health. Fake news has had a tangible impact on elections in the UK. During the Brexit referendum and subsequent general elections, the misleading information influenced public opinion and voting behaviours. This has raised concern about the integrity of the democratic processes and abilities of voters to make informed decisions. Improving media literacy is a key strategy in combating fake news in the UK. Various initiatives aim to educate the public on how to identify and critically evaluate the information they encounter by enhanced media literacy 
The hope is that individuals will be better equipped to discern fake news from reliable sources. One of the biggest problems is AI is infiltrating all of our lives. And some of the things that they can create is so realistic that it's very hard to discern between real and fake. So that's adding an extra layer of it. But we are trying. I think we all are trying to be able to work out when there are fake news and when there's real news coming. The BBC, for example, has this whole area which is about fact checking. And that's a pretty sorry state of affairs, but it is critical. It is useful in this world. Let's now focus on the US media. In the US, fake news has surged, particularly during election times as well. 2016 and 2020 presidential elections were marked by a proliferation of false information, much of it designed to influence key behavior and sow discord. The impact of fake news in the US extends beyond politics, affecting public health, social issues and more. Fake news in the US spreads through social media as well, but it also spreads through partisan news sites and even mainstream media outlets at times. The internet on a, on a as the, and the rapid dissemination of capabilities of social media make it an ideal breeding ground for false information. The debate over how to regulate fake news is, going on, is ongoing in the US. Striking a balance between regulating false information and protecting freedom of speech is complex. Social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter have taken steps to label or remove fake news, but those efforts are often met with criticism from both sides. The impact of fake news in American society is profound. It has contributed to political polarization, deepening massive distrust in the media and facilitating the spread of conspiracy theories. This erosion of trust is of traditional sources of information have had significant implications for social cohesion and the functioning of democracy. In response to fake news, the, there have been numerous initiatives aimed at improving media literacy in the US. Education programs and public awareness campaigns seek to equip people with the skills needed to critically assess, assess the information they encounter. By fostering a more discerning public, those efforts may reduce the influence of fake news. Now let's talk about the common themes between the UK and US. Despite the differences between the US and USA media landscapes, there are several common themes in fake news in both countries. The motivation behind fake news are often similar. Financial gain through ad revenue, political influence, ideological agendas and the desire to sow discord are common drivers. These motivators can intersect and reinforce each other, making fake news a potent and persistent problem. The tactics used spread to spread fake news are also comparable. Sensational headlines, emotional appeals, fabricated sources and manipulated videos and images are frequently employed, deployed. These tactics are designed to capture attention and provoke strong reactions, increasing the likelihood that the information will get shared. Several challenges complicate efforts to combat fake news. The rapid spread of information via social media makes it difficult to contain false stories once they become circulating. Re regulating fake news without infringing on personal freedom of speech is another significant hurdle. Additionally, the sophistication of fake news producers is continually evolving, making detection and prevention more challenging. Addressing fake news requires a multifaceted approach. Improving digital literacy is crucial, happening in both the UK and US. As more information, the informed public is less, less likely to fall foul of fake news. Fact-checking initiatives, stronger platform policies and cross-sector collaboration between governments, tech companies and media organisations are also essential to the components of creating a strategy. So let's do a bit of a conclusion. Fake news presents a significant challenge, both the US, UK and the rest of the world, impacting society, politics and business. By understanding the nature of fake news, its sources and its effects, we can better equip ourselves to counter it. Initiatives to improve media literacy, regulatory measures and collaborative efforts 
but across sectors are also vital to fight fake news. Here at Business Growth Talks, we believe that a well-informed public is the cornerstone of a healthy democracy and a thriving business environment. Thank you for joining us today and stay tuned for more insightful discussions on issues that matter to you and to me. If you've enjoyed that content, please do give it a thumbs up. Really would appreciate the thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I super appreciate all you guys there. And if I've missed anything, if there's anything that you think I should be referring to in this video, please do put it in the comments below. I'd really appreciate to hear your views on this. This is a very complicated issue. There are lots of things that are happening in the UK and US, especially in election time in the UK and the US as well. So do all those things. That would be amazing. Thank you so much for your time and on to the next one.